All right, this is a review of the uh, flexible RGB LED strip. Uh, this is from Paul at CDI. Um, strip comes with this little uh, wireless remote controlled uh, controller. It's got four little buttons on that, mode, pause, and uh, speed up, speed down. Um, I tried it with this controller. Um, controller just does not have a lot of uh, control. <laughs> it, it has uh, pre-programmed effects the mode button cycles through on and uh, you know you can speed up or speed down the speed of those effects with the uh, advanced buttons um, or pause it if it's on a certain color. Um, but for purposes of you know animation and, and decorative lighting um, it really isn't going to work uh, with anything that we use. Um, if you were using this for architectural lighting, um, you know, if you wanted to light up a cove base or uh, a soffit and a ceiling, something like that, um, it's, it's probably great. It's probably perfect. Um, I, uh, I like that it is uh, an antenna. Uh, it looks to be like it's an RF rather than uh, an infrared. Uh, so you can mount this remotely and, and uh, still have control. Um, looking at the actual strip itself, uh, construction seems to be very, very good, um, especially on this compared to some of the other samples that I've gotten uh, directly out of China or, or directly from uh, from Rei Wu. Um, this strip has the uh, silicone jacket that we've all become pretty familiar with. Um, this does not have the adhesive back, and this is not digital strip. There's no chips in it. This is straight RGB. Uh, but you can see the cut points on it. It's about every two inches. So for doing the decorative stuff, um, having the ability to do custom links um, it, up to two inch increments, that's, uh, that's pretty desirable, I think. Um, so for purposes of, of testing, uh, checking the, the dimming capabilities, everything else on this, I've connected these uh, strips to one of the little $6 DMX controllers. Um, so many of us are using. I've got this one programmed to channel 125. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug this in to our power source. And I'm just using a, a old PC power supply, 12 volt power supply. So when I kick that on, um, our strip starts cycling through the colors. Um, the, uh, the controller the little DMX controller has a, a built-in sequence that just cycles through. Uh, starts at red, goes through green, blue, into white, and then it'll cycle, um, it'll turn off, and then restart again. Um, so you can see it kind of doing that color sweep through those effects here. Uh, in general, the colors on these are, are really nice. Um, the red is a, a nice deep, rich red, uh, green's really vibrant. Um, the blues, uh, it's a little bit different. It's uh, not quite as dark, not quite as rich um, as some of the modules that I've gotten, but for strip, uh, it's, it's very good actually. Um, so to test this, I'm going to connect this up to our uh, little test sequence. This is the free software uh, available from Holiday Coro. Um, it's just got three sliders in there, uh, red, green, and blue. So I'm going to go ahead and click Enable Output. Um, when I click that, the uh, controller at the end of the string starts receiving a DMX signal, so it goes into doing whatever I'm telling it to. Uh, right now I have it all up, just a solid on. Um, so red, green, and blue, that gives me my my white color. So if we change these down, this is the red, the green, and the blue. Um, so you can see the blue's a little bit lighter. Um, where I found most of the inconsistencies in any of this stuff is with the blue color. Uh, that is somewhat important uh, because it it affects how it renders white. Um, the red and the green can be a little bit different, a little bit off, and it doesn't seem to have the same effect um, 
on the the white color as the blue does. Uh, the rendering any of the white colors seems to be pretty dependent on having uh, the correct blue. So in the differences uh, in this stuff, especially module to module, strip to module, node to strip to module, um, that's where I see my biggest color difference is with the blue. So we're going to come back here. I'm going to set this for my preset incandescent match. Um, comparing this stuff to, uh, say, uh, uh, an LED uh, rope light, a warm white rope light, or even an incandescent rope light. Um, this stuff is, because it's RGB, it's adjustable, um, it's variable. This is almost identical color-wise to the, uh, the incandescent rope light uh, that I have. Um, when you look at them from more than about five feet away, uh, it's really imperceptible, the difference between the two. Um, of course, the, the LED strip is a little bit brighter, um, and it's uh, directional. You know, it's not going to shine out the back. Um, both of those things are, are things I think are advantages of using something like this over the traditional um, rope light lighting. Um, you can see flexibility. This stuff is, is very flexible. You can bend it right in half, um, either direction. I was looking at this for uh, uplighting some, some candy canes. Um, it's uh, all in all, it's just a really, really great product. Um, you know, quality on any of this stuff is, is pretty hit or miss coming out of China. Um, and Paul, like always, uh, has made sure that the stuff he's got is, is really high quality, uh, really good stuff. So couldn't be, couldn't be happier with this. Um, thinking about ordering probably several spools for some projects for next year. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, uh, leave them at the end of the video or uh, comment in the post. Um, pricing and everything, you'll have to refer to Paul, but I do believe this is going to be part of the pre-order sales. So uh, if you're interested in getting into some basic RGB stuff, uh, if you saw any of the, the videos, especially the, the Halloween video that was this year, um, you know, I was using CCRs on the roof, but the rest of it was basically this stuff right here, just the, the straight RGB strip. Um, so if you're, you're interested in looking at any of that, uh, give Paul a call, and uh, I'm sure he'll take care of you like he takes care of all of us. That's it.